So we're currently undoing all the work that we did last weekend. Because apparently we figured out that the meter base has to be split lug to connect to disconnects to it and there's no option to convert it to split lug so we had to get this um, home line square D um, breaker panel and we're gonna um, connect that instead and uh, hook up everything so it's a waste <laughs> but um we're gonna get this done, we're getting power. Yeah, and since we had to get that breaker panel, which is 200 amps, because the disconnect that we had planned on using, or the disconnects, the two disconnects we planned on using were both 100 amp. So we're using this 200 amp breaker panel, and we had to upgrade the conduit to one and a half. This is one and a quarter. And we also had to upgrade the wire from three gauge to three aught gauge, so. Oh, son of a bitch. When are we gonna get rid of that? Right there. Okay, I'll, I'll cut it up. Oh, that's why I came back here. Because that means that you get more... Why it's hard to cut is the teeth are getting caught. But if you pull it... Yeah. If you pull it at a sharper angle, then the teeth don't get caught. Pretty good, huh? Yep. A little, little shot, but oh, that should be okay. <laughs> it's a little crooked. So, uh, the next thing... Is this is a sharp saw. Again, you pull it back to get it started. Thank <laughs> you. 
do I do there? I could break it, but you know, that's really not nice. my screw doesn't go in there uh, okay uh, sweat in the eyeball how's that so who's gonna be ready with the nails and the hammer I'm ready Okay. Yeah, so we realized that the wire running through our weather head, it doesn't have enough amps. You know, it's like a 100 amp wire. And we're installing 3 aught, which is 200 amp wire. And apparently, uh, <laughs> ding dongs didn't connect the service line, so we got extra work to do to get this out, but we're just going to try to save some effort and just pull it out of the conduit and then we're going to be getting a new weather head because I believe that weather head probably doesn't fit 3 aught wire and of course we're going to get new wire but at least we uh, saved our conduit if it's even <laughs> big enough it is moving. I don't know what it's doing. Huh? I thought I'd be able to pack it out. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Out. It doesn't seem like it wants to back out. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Probably going the wrong way. I'm about just you know, to cut it out of there. Which it's still so weird because they bothered to remove their meter, but they just left this huge service line here. And of course all the clips on it and shit are a pain in the ass. And we're just trying to disconnect the line that goes to the uh, eye bolt here. Instead of messing with those two big black like cylinder things. Smash my yeah, it looks like there's no real way. It's not going. So you want me to get clippers? Yeah, yeah, it's not going. So yeah, okay. Clip.
Okay. The other thing, this seems very narrow. Oh, good. Uh, you pulled the wire out. The anchor usually has something on it. You know, the size for the anchor. Maybe they could just... Uh, it's one and a quarter. Okay. So we got to change this out. I thought this was two inches. One there. One and a quarter? Did it it's say on the weather head? One and a quarter. Head? It says right there. One and oh. one quarter. I, I had I had a bad feeling that that was All it. Right, so. so we need to upgrade that to at least one and a half. Yeah. So we're basically like building a whole new system based yeah. off of a previous location. That's <laughs> that's it. There's nothing salvageable about this. Yo, yeah, well, that's it right there. The when, anchor. That's it. Well, yeah, when you're taking and when you're changing out an 80 amp meter base that has a 100 amp wire and trying to upgrade it to a 200 amp system, there, there's no way to save pretty much anything. You got to get all new stuff. I'm good. Oh, really? Yay, here's our big mess of um, service line and crap. I mean, at least take your service line and if you're going to take your meter. No, no, no. But I mean, that's the thing. This is their line. I know. Well, at, at least it's, it's easier for a service provider or whatever to hook up their stuff now. No one needs to right. worry about that anymore. So, you're just going to have to unscrew that conduit and pull it out. Yeah, just unscrew that conduit pull it out. Yeah, I mean, right here, one, one and a quarter. That's what I was saying. Read the weather head and you'll know what the conduit size is. Well, I'm supposed to unscrew this conduit. Oh jeez. Okay, well I could probably do a better job right here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a pair of pipe. If these are big enough. Ha ha. Now now don't waste your time. We're gonna I mean don't that that we need to get a new hub too, because that hub's not gonna it's not gonna work. Well, okay, but if this is out of the way I think we can you know unscrew the All we need to do is get a measure it and then get that metal conduit. Uh -oh. I don't know if they have uh, threaded Woo. stuff. Let's not fall off the ladder. Okay. So he's undoing the screws to the hub. And the reason why we can't use one and a quarter because there's a specific chart that tells you what size wire fits in what size conduit. And one and a quarter will not support three three aught wires. You need one and a half. That's one and a half. Show them. Yeah, which this oh, this and, and this out. is yeah. I mean, this is one and a half PVC, and we got to run into the wall. And this is the three aught wire. We got, and so we basically need the conduit, that metal conduit up there, to be as thick as this. So. Yeah, one and a quarter is not going to work. Tim Burr, this thing's leaning over and wants to fall. And of course, um, the service provider said that their minimum is 100 amps that they'll connect to, but I couldn't find a 100 amp uh, meter base that was approved by them. Mm -hmm. So we ended up with a 200 amp. So. We got to do all this We're stuff. Putting 200 amp wire in. Yeah. We need 200 amps if we're going to service the house and the mobile home. For yeah, and then, and then that too. I mean, it's just, it's it's 2020. You want 200 amps, not not 100 amps. <sighs> Somehow, back in the 90s, they survived on 100 amps in this house. They had they had a washer machine, no dryer. And gas appliances. Yep, and I mean, mo yeah, most of the stuff, the water heater is gas, stove is gas, and the pump is electric, though. 
but it probably was a little 100 amp pump, 100, uh, yeah, 100 amp pump or something anyway, so. Well, sure would be nice to have like a, a socket to take this out with. It's one of those screws, you know, where you, get, you can get a, a slot in there. Yeah, it also means we need new brackets too, because... Well, we got the brackets, right? Don't we have two inch? Well, we have two inch, but does, that should work for an inch and a half, I'm guessing, because, you know, it goes on the outside. We'll see. These, these clamps are inch and a half. All right, so we have okay. an inch and a quarter uh, inside. Oh, oh, okay, so we're good on the clamp then. Well, well, wait, wait. We have an inch... <laughs> We have an inch and a quarter conduit. Yeah. But then you have a wall of that conduit. Yeah. So they use an inch and a half clamp. Yeah. Yeah. So your clamp has got to be bigger. Oh yeah. Than your conduit. So we're getting if we're getting an inch and a half, maybe we ought to just get a two inch conduit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Inch and a, do they have one and three quarter? Mm, maybe. Because we have two inch clamps, and it seems like that. The clamp is one size bigger than the conduit. Right? Yeah, it, it, That's because like this one, inch and a quarter conduit, inch and a half clamp. Yeah. This goes on the outside. So if we get, if we have two inch clamps, we can get an inch and a quarter. Or, I mean, we can yeah. get an inch and three quarter conduit. Or we can just get a two inch and scrap the clamps we have and get the right clamps. Yep. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Those little details. But, yep, our conduit does depend on our hub and our weather head. So if they have one and a half hub and a one and a half weather head, then we should be able to get a hundred, a one and a half freaking conduit. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, wait, already? A little bit. I'm tripping. Yeah, well, that's normal. That's one of the screws we might need. Yeah. Hey. Right. Oh, we could probably bring that to the store. Ah, oh, he's smart. Where did the rest of the weather head go? Okay, so it, uh, it was in a bunch of pieces. One piece is the other piece, and then <coughs> the other pieces on top of that conduit. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be too small. I, I could tell it was too small. You're smart. You got good eyes. I was thinking it was two inch the whole time. And then we run that uh, run that wire, that fat wire, and <laughs> put it right next to it. I'm like, uh-oh. We, we can't reuse this. It's just outdated, I guess. Why, they not have 200 amps? In the 90s. Right, so if, you got an 80, <laughs> if you have an 80 meat. Oh, yeah, of course. 200 amps in the 90s. Someone was just being cheap. Amp meter, you just need to feed it with an 80 amp wire. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, they're just being cheap. You no, know, we, we really didn't think that all the way through. We, we expected that, well, that was pretty thick wire to me coming down there. Until you try to put three out wire through a one and a half inch conduit at a 90 degree bend that's about not even a foot long. Mm hmm. Oh, that sucks. Yahoo. All right, so I'm preparing my archaeological dig. What is this? You see that white? Mm -hmm. This uh, is the sink. And how I ended. Hey, don't you touch it. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm pulling this. Okay. <laughs> so that's a sink. And there's still a big question that remains. How the hell did it get from right there? Now, obviously, that is a sink. You got, you got two taps for hot and cold, and you got a drain. Okay, and here is the toilet. And then this obviously was a tub, and there's still a big mystery. 
Yeah. How the hell did the tub get all the way over there? Okay. It, it walked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it walked. Right so it just still seems like somebody was living here and they're moving shit. And there's some boards here from who knows what. So I'm gonna pull this out, see what it looks yeah. like. Oh, you want it? Okay. Don't you? Waiting, waiting. It's on. Thing's coming out. Oh. Hey, oh. this ain't the sink. It ain't the sink. It's a washing machine head. So we have a mystery still. Where's the sink? Yeah, I know. What the hell happened to the sink? It disappeared. <laughs> well, why is there a washing machine? head out here. I know there's a wash machine over there. I guess this is what it's a part of. This is a, uh, wait, what? Fridge dinner, fridge dinner made wash machines? I'm still really confused. It's still mystery. What, what the hell happened to the bathroom? <laughs> Great, okay, you can shut it off. How could... Yeah, so this is the washing machine. And it's obviously sitting upright, so that means that that washing machine head probably goes to this washing machine. Which it kind of makes sense because it's sitting next to a 50s or 60s fridge you know this is a really old fridge it's a calvinator it's antique i'm gonna save it maybe restore it and use it again yeah it's got nice pantina on it we'll probably keep the pantina just replace all the plastics in it you know because if they just kept this closed then the sun wouldn't have been beating on it and the uv rays would have not destroyed the plastic in it but we'll have to fix that. Who the hell knows? Maybe I could get that washer machine going again. You would waste the time. Oh, you got nothing else to do. Yeah, you got nothing else to do. Got an antique washer machine. Like, I like wash freaking, machines. Get these freaking things out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna just take this whole freaking little shoot here. Why not? Well, those are a bunch of, um, we got the same effect going. We got a bunch of new trees growing out of a dead tree. Well, shouldn't I just, like, that? Uh, that is that is the new tree growing out of a dead tree. Well, the new tree is like in our way, right? Yeah. I got a. Oh, it does. It doesn't it make some shade for the window? Just, I mean, just trim it a bit. If it's in, if it's in the way, just trim it up. And we'll take care of it later. Because I probably might. In the, I'll probably just cut it down eventually. Because it's a dead tree with more uh, living trees growing out of it and that becomes problematic. All right, so if you can see that, there's a hole directly under the cement slab in our hanger and we don't know Something dug it. Some, something is living Look. under there. Yeah, and something, something dug, dug it. it. Thinking maybe it's either a coyote or could be an armadillo. I, I mean, that's as far as it goes. And maybe that's, I don't know. And could it be a rabbit? I don't, uh, I don't know. But it's going to get filled in. We got a shovel. Um, I think 
There's a shovel in there. Oh, the, yeah, the shovel's at the house. Most likely it's coyotes because that's all I've ever heard out here. I haven't it looks like what a dog would have done. Yeah. I, I haven't seen any rabbits. I haven't seen any armadillos, so it's probably coyotes. So as I walked in here, I saw some rustling. I heard some rustling around here. Nick. Where? And this snake started scurrying in behind me. Wow. Okay. He ended up coming out over here and then down here. He looks like he might be behind the refrigerator. But he wasn't a rattlesnake, he wasn't rattling. Okay, I'll watch for it. New tube is in. Tires back on. How do you feel? Good. It's recording now. You're going to get it right and you're not going to screw it up, right? No. Where's the stem? Oh, oh you're right. You don't even know where the stem is. I, I set it, it up there. Nothing. Not yet. Hold on. You out of air yet? No, I got air. It's just a, the stem thing on my jingle is being weird. What? Let's just weigh this is. Hold on. Oh, I hear it going in. The holding? It's the, the tube's got to get up. You know, it's got to inflate. See what it does. How much air pressure you got? Well, I think it just ran out. <laughs> I got 20. I don't think that's going to be enough. <laughs> but air got in there. I heard it. There yeah. you go. All right. Yeah, we're just going to have a...
start it up. All right, I'm gonna put the battery back together and we have this O'Reilly's air pump and we're gonna see if we can rig it so that it will, it will run off this battery. Yeah, so there it is. Tubes installed, done, tires aired up. We got a good running tractor again. We just gotta fix that generator problem and then I'll be good to go. Other than that, as long as the battery has a charge on it, it will go, but the battery's not gonna charge itself because the charging system on this is broken. Well it, well, it was actually disconnected. Yeah, so some asshole knew it was broken They didn't, and he didn't tell us, so yeah. <laughs>